Kavish from Kavish's Bicycle and Small Engine Repairs and in today's video we're going to be adjusting these back brakes as you see these brake shoes are bad uh, this cable which actually goes down to this gear shifter is not routed into place which is this guy doesn't need to I'll just zip tie it down um, but these back brakes are a little funky um, you guys aren't even looking at them so look at these back brakes when I squeeze them fully, they do lock kind of to the tire, but I'm going to show you how to set uh, back brakes proper. Um, so first, undo this. No, what we're going to do, yeah, is, is undo this screw. And what that does is that shortens that gap to shorten your back brakes. Uh, there is different styles. Uh, they're all very similar. This is a really old style of brake. Um, there's another style that have arms that actually go here on this stud and they swing in and they clamp through the top. These are the older styles that clamp through the side. So when I measure these, I gotta set these brake latches. I set them so that they're, you know, a sixteenth or so of an inch away from touching, which will be you know this. So I'm going to unscrew this screw a bit more. Can you guys see what I'm doing? No, let me switch you guys. Um, I apologize. I know I said in the last video that I was going to do a front disc break. I bought a new camera. I threw one of my old SD cards in it and I filmed the front break, uh, getting the front break done. I mean, that's what it looks like. Where is it? That's what it looks like now. You can't see it very well because I don't have the light shining on it. I got new lighting. So all the content should be much, much brighter. Like if I, you know what I mean? I can control the lighting. But I have it set so that it's shining on top of this. Uh, so anyways, what happened to the last stuff is it goes onto the memory card, but whenever I put it into my editing software, it does not, uh, it says this film is not existent, so it went corrupt. I totally apologize for that. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, crap happens. If you hear barking and whatever, yipping in the background, we had a litter of puppies born, so that's what it is. They're just getting old enough now that they're starting to eat and, uh, so that's what it is. <sighs> okay. What I do is touching, like this. I just clamp the brakes so that they're touching. And then I just, just so, I loosen them off. And I grab, let me see if I can do this differently. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to get my, unless I do this, but what happens is, is this gets clamped underneath, like a so, gets cranked down, and once that's set, I'll show you, it's hard to do, especially for a new uh, YouTuber like me. It's hard to do what I want to show you folks. Okay, so now that you get, oh, slipped out. Just loosen it off just a little more. Put it under the washer. Some, most of them come with washers. Um, get it cinched down here quick. Can you guys see that? Okay, so that's cinched down now. So now, when I, I'm just going to pop you out of the stand for this, so don't have a seizure. I know I'm giving you a seizure. But what I do here, and I got to see if I can get it on film. But when this clamps down, it's right now, it's about... Oh, probably a match. It's probably a half inch here. And 
about a millimeter on the other side, but it balances back and forth. Um, and that's really it for adjusting, unless you have a bad cable. Uh, in the description of this video, I'm hoping, if I can, I will throw a link to where you can just buy bicycle cables. I mean off Amazon. Just go on Amazon and go um, back brake cable for a bicycle. They're all pretty well, they're all pretty well, I guess they call it symmetrical uh, for the front. You just go disc brake cable and uh, a disc brake cable for a bicycle. And that brings it up. Um, but that's, yeah, pretty well it for adjusting a brake. Now, to adjust a brake, you also have to squeeze the handle and make sure that it works. And as you see, that wheel is not moving. You let it off, the wheel moves. So that is set 110% right. Um, I do want to show, um, in one of my next videos, on, let me zoom in here, see if I can... I know you guys can hear this camera zooming in. It is what it is. It's The other camera, like I said, is all screwed up. So, that light sure helps, eh? Anyway, see that fraying on that cable? Right there, see that fraying? I want to do a video in a couple days on fraying on obviously uh, bike cable fraying you know this stuff fraying um, I want to do a video on that because I know a lot of comments on other people's videos not necessarily mine but um, other people's videos saying hey how do I you know how do I fix the fraying on my bike right um, yeah, it's really simple. You just go buy some solder, and you obviously have to wrap this as tight, back tight, snip off. See, like you can see here, it's focused, and you can see there's a straggler right here. You'd obviously have to snip all the stragglers off, twist them, and then you, I, you, I'll show you how to make it, but you just take a, um, kind of like a, a mini spoon and you fill it full of hot solder and then what happens is is you dip the end of the cable in and it forms a ball on the end or or as some cables have I don't know if I have one on this particular this bike I did find in the dump this is a dump bike uh, it is let me see if I can find the brand here just gotta zoom out yeah this is the battery here um, my battery is almost dead on this camera, and that's really it for this video. So if you like this content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe on it. And uh, that is really it for adjusting the bike brake. So if this camera shuts off, you know that's the end of the video. Uh, this here, which I didn't even see here right away, is the bike cable. It's, it's a dump bike. I found it at the dump. Um, I'm fixing it up this winter. Uh, doing a bunch of videos on it. Really, this is it now. The videos are done on it. I'm still going to have to uh, get a new front brake cable. Like I said, order a new front brake cable. I know I said I did a video on it, but the cable I used is not very good. So I'll have to uh, buy a different cable and put it on, and I'll do a video on that. But uh, if you like this kind of content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video.